Story number 10. Happiest Day. In the city of Liverpool, England, there was a 16-year-old Christian boy named Christopher Hickory, who started dating a 16-year-old Christian girl named Sirole Burgess. They were both getting to know each other, and they went on their first date to the local beach in May of 2024, which was when they first started dating. They started dating when Sirole moved to Liverpool from Nottingham and started attending the same youth group that Christopher attends. Christopher's parents and Sirole's parents both gave approval of them dating, as long as they did it to the glory of God. What Christopher and Sirole both did on their first date, which was to a local beach, was that they embraced the ocean, the sand, and the sky. Then they enjoyed a beach picnic and went on a beach hike afterwards. They spent a total of about seven hours at the beach and enjoyed watching the crisp, beautiful sunsets over the horizon. After the sunset was over, they both went home and told their parents about how the date was. Then on Monday, May 13th, it was Sirole's 17th birthday, and at the Christian homeschool co-op, she found out about a co-op field trip that was set to take place on Friday, May 31st. And the field trip is going to be to a maritime museum in the outskirts of Liverpool. The cost for the field trip was set to £20. Then later that night... Ten of the sixteen students from co-op signed up for the field trip, and then another two did so the following night, and then the remaining four about a week later. The co-op took place inside of the Sunday school room at Landry Bible Church, which is a medium non-denominational church that has preached sound doctrine for the past 150 years. The church is pastored by Patrick Hickory, who is Christopher's uncle, and the church was founded in early 1868 by Simon Hickory, who is Christopher's sixth generation ancestor, which means that Simon Hickory is Christopher's great 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 grandfather. Then on Friday, May 31st, the whole co op went on the field trip, and all 16 students had a blast. They all brought a packed lunch. Christopher brought a BLT sandwich on whole grain bread with a side of an apple and Sirole brought a roasted chicken hogging with a set of peanut granola. As everyone saw the sights, they learned about the RMS Titanic and the war that struck in April 1912. They also learned about other ships and boats that sailed out of Liverpool. The field trip lasted the whole school day, and then after the field trip, everyone arrived back at the co-op to prepare to go home for the weekend. Then when summer holiday began, Christopher told his girlfriend Sirole that he and his family was going to be on holiday to Venice, Italy for three weeks. And then he asked her if she wanted to come, and then Sirole said that she hoped so. And then Sirole later on asked her parents, and her parents said yes. Her parents were comfortably able to say yes since they knew that Sirole was going to be supervised by Christopher's parents during the three-week holiday, which lasts for half of summer holiday, since summer holiday is about six weeks. Well, Christopher and his family, along with Sirole, took a ferry and then a train to Venice, Italy, and then everyone got checked into two different hotel rooms. Well, Christopher's mom, his two sisters, and Sirole were checked into room 68, and then Christopher, his older brother, and his dad were checked into room 67. Everyone got together every day during holiday to go out and do plenty of fun activities in Venice, and check out all the sites and take pictures and post some of them on Instagram and Tumblr. They also tried out delicious food like authentic Italian pizza, gelato, affogato, bruschetta, uh, um, arancini, capri salad, ribolita, risotto, florentine steak, cannoli siciliani, authentic Sicilian pizza, etc. They also tried out many different Italian non-alcoholic beverages like the authentic cappuccino, ristretto, cafe latte, etc. On the fifth day of holiday, everyone went on the Grand Canal gondola ride, and they enjoyed embracing the beautiful canal as they were on the boat ride. Christopher and Taroli were both pointing to the different school sites as they were on the ride through the canal, and talking about how cool this, those tights are. Throughout the whole three-week holiday, 
Christopher and family and Tiroli all enjoyed several different museums. Went to Ming, checked out other entertaining activities, and had a total blast. Christopher had an impressive 17th birthday during the holiday to Venice since his birthday was on Sunday, August 11th. And he got an extra large Italian double chocolate cake that was decadent and also delicious and rich in flavor. The reason why the cake was extra large was that it was actually both Christopher and his older brother's birthday cake since his older brother's 20th birthday came just four days later on Thursday, August 15th. Then on a Sunday morning in mid-2025, Patrick Hitch Hickory preached a sermon about how multi-ethnic marriages are not a sin as long as they are in between one man and one woman and are not unequally yoked. The reason why he preached a sermon about this was that he noticed that there were several legalistic Pharisees on the internet who do the racist act of condemning multi-ethnic marriages. Patrick preached that it is wrong to preach against multi-ethnic marriages because racism is a horrendous sin and any doctrine that is racist is a damnable heresy. Patrick preached that any doctrines that are against multi-ethnic marriages are racist, damnable heresies that were split wide open. Then Patrick preached that Deuteronomy 7, 3 was only speaking to the Israelites and that verse was saying that the Israelites should not be unequally yoked, which means that God was telling the Israelites not to marry non-believers, due to the non-believers being worshippers of false gods. Patrick then preached that the main idea of the sermon is that Jesus Christ approves of multi-ethnic marriages, aka interracial marriages, as long as they are in between one man and one woman and are not unequally yoked. After Christopher and Tiroli both graduated from the co-op, they then went on to attend a Christian university in England. And during those four years, they were making exciting plans about the engagement and marriage. They had encouragement from the memories of the sermon that their pastor preached back in mid-2025. Since if they both get married, then they would be in a multi-ethnic marriage, since Christopher is of African descent and Tiroli is of Dutch descent. The engagement took place just five months before graduation, and then around three weeks later, they both graduated from college. Christopher and Tiroli both got married, and the day they got married was on Wednesday, August 14th, 2030. Christopher and his wife, Tiroli, are having a fruitful marriage as they put Jesus Christ at the center of it. Then on Sunday, February 29th, 2032, Tiroli gave birth to a set of boy-girl twins. The boy was named Samuel, and the girl was named Samantha. Samantha was born just five and a half minutes after her twin brother was. Then Christopher and his wife moved from an apartment to a six-bedroom family home. Samuel opened up a cafe just after he graduated from college. The cafe is named Point 26 Cafe. This cafe is a very nice cafe with a nice selection of coffee beverages, tea beverages, and pastries. There were even healthier pastries and beverages that are offered at a cheaper price on the diet menu. The cafe menu was split into two different menus, the diet menu and the conventional menu. The diet menu has all of the healthy beverages and pastries, and this menu is also called the budget menu due to the healthy menu items being 33% cheaper than the beverages and pastries on the conventional menu. On the other hand, the conventional menu had all of the beverages and pastries that are indulgences that people are used to enjoying at the cafe. Many years went by as Christopher and his wife, Siroli, together had seven children, and their names in order from oldest to youngest are Samuel, Samantha, Cody, Jordan, Jade, Kelsey, and Liam. Then in 2048, Christopher and his wife, Siroli, adopted an 11-year-old girl named Liam and everyone in the house was excited. Leah loved the new family, and she had an amazing time enjoying her new family. Christopher and his wife drove to the local orphanage in Liverpool to adopt Leah. The day, the, day they, the day that Leah was adopted was on Friday, February 14th, 2048. After Siroli received Leah's birth certificate, 
She then told her husband, Christopher, that Leo was born on June 1st, 2036. Leo's birthday is also the day after Liam's, as Liam's birthday is on May 31st. All seven children treated Leo nicely, as they all treated her like the new sister that she became. All eight children were raised well, and the family of ten lived their lives serving the Lord.